So Vasta Vakra Gita starts with uh, Raja Janak, who is the devotee, is asking three questions to Asta Vakra, who is the master. So the Raja Janak asks, what, how will I gain the knowledge, the ultimate knowledge? How will I attain the liberation? And how will I attain the detachment, Vairagya, right? So how will I attain the Jnana? Uh, how will I attain the Mukti? And how will I attain the Vairagya? Knowledge, um, liberation and the detachment. How will I gain these three things? And the Astavakra replies that if you are interested in the liberation, so he's answering the question of liberation. So he's saying, if you want liberation, then let go of these object of the senses as if, as if they are the poisons and practice simplicity, contentment and truth as well as practice kindness and forgiveness, right? So he gives, so he's telling you should let go of the object of the senses if they are as a poison. Then he's also telling the second thing, which is you should do three personal practices, which are basically simplicity, contentment and truth. And then he's saying you have to practice two interpersonal things, uh, which are uh, kindness and forgiveness. Yeah. So this is the answer of Astavakra in response to how do you gain the liberation. And the Astavakra is not really, doesn't really talk like these. This is probably the only verse where he's talking about what you should or should not do. Otherwise, he's mostly talk, going to talk about what exactly you are and what exactly you are not. But I think in the beginning, he's giving a very basic practices so that you are ready when he start talks about what exactly you are, right? So he says, you should let go of the object of the senses as if they are the poison. That's the first thing. If you want to be liberated, right? So here, Astavakra is not interested in success, failure, happiness, unhappiness, anything like that, right? What he is interested in liberation. And for the liberation, you need peaceful mind. Yeah, you need to have this uh, liberation by very definition means you are free of the bonding. And what he's saying, this object of the senses are as if they are poison. What he means is basically that these object of the senses are what are creating the bondage, right? So if you are if you are interested in liberation, at least stop doing things which, which creates the bondage. And bondage means addiction, right? And the sense objects are very addictive. It doesn't, all the sense object uh, from the food to the sensual pleasure, if you engage in them and if you are looking for the happiness and the pleasure in them, they are going to become very addictive, right? So what happens is, let's say you have a thought, like I want to have a sense of pleasure, I want to have some kind of a food, right? That thought was in itself is a disturbance. That thought was in itself is a bondage, right? But if you act upon it with this expectation that I'm going to find the pleasure and the joy in that sense of pleasure, if you act in that way, what is going to happen behind the scene is it's, it's an addictive cycle. Right? So you get become even more bound. So after a few times, this frequency of thoughts start to increase. Right? And then you can multiply it with like thousands and millions of things and then you will know what the bondage is. And that's what uh, Astravakra is saying that if you want to be free, stop doing things which creates the bondage. Right? At least stop looking for the pleasure and stop looking for the happiness in the sense objects. Right? Stop looking for the varieties of sense objects if you are interested in the liberation. So that's the first advice he gives, right? That don't go too much into the sense object. Don't look for the happiness in the sense object. Treat them as if it is a poison. Then he says, follow three personal practices, which is uh, simplicity, contentment and truth. And now these three practices are more like simplifying the mind. Right now the mind is the chaos. So first he says, stop doing things which creates the chaos inside the mind, right? Then he's saying, you should practice these three practices which can sort out the chaos in the mind, right? Again, he is trying to make the mind peaceful. This is basically the bondage, right? This chaos of the mind, right? This constant churning of thoughts, emotions, desire, all these things are what the bondages are. So he's simplifying them. He's saying, okay, start with simplify. Don't uh, create the complexity. Don't make things complicated, right? Keep things simple, right? For example, a complicated example can be, uh, I want to follow my passion, right? So I get a concept about passion. I have some understanding what the passion is and somehow will make me happy. So I want to follow my passion. I also want to live a wealthy life, right? So let's, we are creating the complex, how the complexity of the mind gets created, right? 
So I want to have a passion. I also want to be wealthy. And I also want to live in Europe. And I also want to live with my parents. And you can keep adding more and more complexity. And what is going to happen is mind is basically like a computer. It has to come with a solution that will satisfy all these different variables. So the more variables you add, the more complex system becomes, right? The more uneasy or more anxious the mind will become because it has to make sure that all the different combination of permutations of these different variables has to be satisfied for a solution, right? So that's break the psyche. So that's what creates the complexity in the mind, right? And what Ashtavakra is saying, keep things simple, right? What do you really need? I need my survival, right? So I need to have comfortable financial situation for me, right? Keep that way keeps things simple. Again, he's not interested in success, failure or anything like that. What he's talking about, if you are interested in liberation, do this. Keep things simple so your mind is peaceful. If your mind is peaceful, then you can do, you know, investigate what he's saying. You can understand what he's saying. Right? So keep things simple. Then the second thing is uh, practice contentment. Right? And the contentment is opposite of desire. Right? So it's more, it's coming from... And the, if you see the root of the desire is basically this very deep rooted unokayness inside ourselves, right? It's almost as if we are not okay and somehow with grasping and gripping to different things, we will be okay, right? So that's what the desire is. And the contentment is opposite of it. Contentment says that, you know, deep inside I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't need things or people or anything to, for me to be okay. I am content in myself, right? It doesn't mean I don't do anything or so it doesn't mean I don't enjoy uh, external things but deep inside myself I am content I am full I am fulfilled right that is the kind of a contentment he is trying to uh, tell us to practice because again it simplifies it's uh, it it makes sure it cuts down the desire from its root right so then again your mind become even more peaceful and then he says practice truth and practicing truth is again why we want to lie because um, you know because maybe of some fear or maybe some greed and the more lie we speak within the mind the system again becomes more and more complicated right uh, because mind has this need of uh, consistency coherence right minds want to create a coherent uh, story and then there is a judgment system which keeps judging if i do something against what i consider to be right then there's a judgment. So again, this whole thing becomes complex and Astravakra wants it to be simple. Astravakra wants your mind to be peaceful uh, if you want to be liberated, right? So these are the three personal practices he says one should follow. And then he says two interpersonal practices. And these are forgiveness and the kindness. And here, we all have like many social interactions, right? And many things might have happened which are unfair every it happens with everybody right somebody took advantage of us maybe you are in the business and somebody took total advantage of you in the business maybe somebody left you when you are in the relationship maybe when you are growing your parenting wasn't really as good as it can be so there can be many 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 different things which in the definition of fair and unfair could be very unfair right it's not like they are not unfair it's not like they are not uh, wrong but again, the Astravakra's focus is not to think, make, you know, not to make you moral or immoral kind of stuff uh, or, you know, balance the uh, disturbance. But what Astravakra is interested in is your liberation. What Astravakra wants the peace of the mind, right? And what he's saying, practice forgiveness, right? Practice forgiveness and the kindness, which is kind of the uh, same uh, side of... Uh, uh, two side of a same practice but what he's basically saying is people are going to be unfair people are going to be you know do these things because the nature of the world is like that everybody is acting out of the personal desire right in fact to you and me everybody is acting i am acting out of my personal desires right and in that case when the personal desires are strong we are not aware that it is hurting other people right it could very well be hurting other people and we are just not aware like what is going on right so in that case, people, it, it, is by the, it is the part of the nature, right? That people are going to be personally motivated and they are going to take advantage of other people to fulfill their personal desire. And you might be that person. People are going to be under affliction and they are going to be disrespectful. They are going to be hurtful and all these kinds of things, right? And what uh, Astravakra is saying is, he's not saying you don't deal with it. What he's saying is, if you want the peace of the mind, at some point you need to learn how to forgive other people, right? And with that forgiveness, you also need to practice kindness 
and this kindness or compassion comes when you see what other people are doing are exact same thing that you also have inside yourself right but the difference may be that you didn't cultivate it that too much or you had like a better quality of education or you were you know exposed to these sort of books which tells you which gives you the knowledge and all these sort of things but other person didn't have that chance right other persons didn't get that opportunity altogether and you also know when you act out of this affliction of let's say anger and all these things the kind of a state of mind it creates within is very difficult right it's very uh, disturbing so it's not uh, that somebody who is hurting you is enjoying all this process actually is hurting himself even more by doing that right so anyway you want to see it but what uh, astavakra is saying is uh, if you want to be liberated if you want the peace of the mind then you need to learn to forgive the people and you need to have the kindness and compassion towards other people right you can decide how you want to do it you can decide you know how does it make sense to you but uh, here the astravakras advice is fairly straightforward right so what he's again what he's saying just to recap that if you are interested in liberation then let go of the sense of the object as if they are the poison practice contentment practice simplicity contentment and the truth and practice forgiveness and kindness 